Okay, children, turn on your video. How was the test, Adhvik? No, it was pretty good. It was pretty good? What mistake you did for the, in that? Do you know it? No. I'll tell you. <clears throat> I'll tell you what mistake you did. It. Um, Ah, yes, in the question number, uh, I think fourth it was, it was mentioned that you need to write the ways for the seed dispersal and you need to explain them. Right? So yes, what sir. you did, you have written, you have written the name, wind, humans and animals, water, all those things. But you did not explain them. And just to, that's the reason I have deducted your two marks from. Okay. Okay, ma'am. What about Advik? About you, you did not write the test, Advik? Ma'am, I wrote, ma'am. No, you did not write because I did not receive your answer sheet. Wait, let me see. Ma'am, uh, what do you see, ma'am? I'll, I'll see. Just a moment. Mm, yes, 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 yes. You wrote. I'll tell you your mistake, right? I have your answer sheet. Uh, hmm, your answer sheet is there. First of all, Adwik, you need to work on the handwriting. Okay? Handwriting is very, very important. It has to be written neatly. Okay? Uh, then coming to the MCQ. The one MCQ, like starting two MCQs are wrong. Not MCQ, sorry, match the following. So question number three, that match the following was wrong. In question number four, you did the same thing. You have written the mode, wind dispersal, animal dispersal and all. But you did not explain by giving the example, right? So if the question was of, you know, the good marks, like three marks, four marks, then in that case, you should explain it. So that's the reason I have reduced the marks there. Okay, and then last question number five. Uh, it was a five marker question, correct? The last one that you have to explain the seed germination by writing 10 points. I have mentioned clearly 10 points you should write. And what you did, you have mentioned only five points, correct? You have mentioned five points? Yeah, right? and you should have... Good action, another way. So you should have written 10 points and that's the reason I have reduced the marks for that answer also. Okay? Okay, Ma coming to us. Ma'am, we get certificate for this also, subjective test. Yeah, you do get. But what happened this time, uh, no one has got full marks from the science. So for science, no certificate. But yes, I think uh, for math, Advit has got full marks and one more child is there who has got full marks. I think two children are there. Let me see. Who has got full marks? Okay, only Advit has got full marks in maths. So Advit will be getting. Advit, finally turn on your video. Ma'am, I'm not able to turn on my video. Okay. <clears throat> Advit, talking about your mistakes. Uh, yeah, Advit. Handwriting, you need to work. And Adve, don't use this unruled sheet always. See, you're, you're small actually, you know. If you use the unruled sheet, then what happens? Your writing will not improve. Okay. So use the lining. The lining, you will have a copy, right? The lining copy will be there. Use that copy and then write it. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you also have been, like, you did the same mistake. Question number four and five, you did not explain it well. And I think I have told you already that 10 points you have written for the speed germination, right? Those 10 points, you should have written it as such. Okay? Yes, now coming to Adve. Adve, your... Uh, uh, question number four, same thing. 
you have written the name but you have not written the explanation for it okay so if you are writing about wind you should have given the example like uh, they are uh, the characters you should have written they are light in weight because of that they can fly and they can you know move from one place to another place and if you are talking about the water you could you could have uh, you know spoke about the floating fibrous they have the fibrous outer covering so because of that it starts moving okay so that's the thing you should have mentioned there and the question number 5 you have mentioned i think only some four points and it was asked to write 10 points that's the reason i have reduced the marks there also okay so that's the reason uh, no one has got full marks so children start you know now in the grade 5 grade 5 is a big actually the good grade right so you have to now start writing a little in a explain in a explained way okay not a very small two two lines or one one line answers no it should be very explained away will be clear so start writing so then only you will be able to score full marks okay now today on verse will be starting with a new topic last time we have already started which was a asexual reproduction right adve what do you mean by asexual reproduction adve um the part mm. the part of a plant which do not have any gender like male and female okay and how many parents do they have for the process man can you repeat again how many uh, parents do they need to do the process they have one parents or two one parent or two parents in one one correct very good adwe okay adwe what do you mean by the sexual reproduction how many parents are involved for the process mam the asexual reproduction sexual mam in sexual reproduction uh, two 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 or more parents are involved mam very good okay okay coming to adwe panjugula by which word like adve has said only one parent is involved right so by using which part of the plant they can grow the plant can grow by using which part any any guess any guess adve roots no uh, no roots no okay adve singh What Mom's, are the plants by? Hmm. Mom, leaf, stem, and root. Very good, Advik. So, by using the leaf, by using the stem, by using the root, the plant can be grown. Okay. So that we will be studying now today. Let me share the screen. And children, homework. Homework. You are not sending it. Send it. Whatever notes we are writing in the class, you need to complete and you need to share it then and there. i should not keep on calling your parents for the same thing right it is not good right to call the parents and ask them right so you are grown up do it by yourself and send it you all are all have my number fine so that i can check it i'll i'll tell you then whether your writing is good or not what you need to do so like that we can improve it okay now ma'am we have to upload it on whatsapp or send you personally personally there is no option on the wise app to upload the and the upload in notes so you have to share it personally to okay okay now here in the last class we have discussed this only that asexual reproduction the plants will be there it occurs with the help of the stem roots leaves okay now the first way we will be learning is with the help of the stem by with the help of the stem so potato onion ginger can grow into the plant have you seen like potato in the potato there will be a kind of structure like this have you seen the eyes like structure in potato yes ma'am yes ma'am right so if we cut that part of the potato and we insert into the soil then what happen they start growing into the new plant so they have a small structure called as bud on them 
such as stem along with the bird Mom? will be cut and placed yeah Mom can you explain again ma'am because I joined another device Okay okay no problem no problem So uh what happened with the help of the stem we can grow a new plant So we do not require the seed we do not require the fruit what do we need we need only the plant so from that plant we can cut the stem and then we can grow it so like example potato potato on the potato you might have seen the eye will be there right so if we cut that part of the potato and if we insert them into the soil new plant will start growing out of it so what happened earlier only one potato was there but when we cut this potato into two pieces so both the piece they will start growing and like this from one plant we got now how many plants mom another of two yeah one more plant we have got now same way now from this two potatoes we can grow more number of potatoes so like this the number of the plants can be increased so they have a small structure called buds on them such as stem along with the bud can be cut and placed into the soil from where new plants will grow planting a cutting of a stem of a rose plant will also produce a new plant so in the rose plant if you cut the stem of the rose plant and if you insert that stem one small stem if you insert into the soil from that part also the new rose plant can be grown so rose is a example of this stem then you have the sugar cane so should in the sugar cane also what happen if you cut the stem of a sugar cane and if you grow it a new sugar cane plant you will be getting it then bougainvillea so these are the certain example of the cutting of a stem process now second with the help of the roots now in this example like lily water hyacinth plant lily what do we do we take out the root of these plant and we insert them into the soil so roots of some plants like sweet what is sweet potato called as in hindi mam shakarkandi very good so shakarkandi so root of some plants like the sweet potato turnip what is turnip shalgam yeah mm. shalgam correct so this develop they develop the adventitious buds on them so you can see in the picture what do they have they have a kind of the adventitious buds small small buds like structure they will have on them so if we cut this bird and if we grow them then what happen they will become a new plant so sweet potato turnip water hyacinth lily are like they are some of the examples so just what we need to do we have to cut the root of them and we have to insert them into the soil then the next one very very important this is reproduction from leaves so root can be cut and can be inserted stem can be cut and can be inserted but how the leaf can be cut can we can we take out the leaf no so what happen in this process you can see in this picture so actually this is one leaf here this one okay this is the leaf like this and here Mama, on the margin the can okay let me share it again others can see it or no no ma'am no i think let me share it again now you can see ma'am okay so this leaf okay thank you so this leaf can you see on the margin of this leaf a small small plant like structure is coming out can you see yes ma'am so like this the leaf will be and on the margin a small small leaves comes out like this now what happen immediately when these leaves by any chance when they fall down on the ground so by chance maybe this leaf fall down this leaf has fall down then what happen as soon as they fall down with the help of the soil and with the help of air and water they start going into the new plant so that is what the reproduction from leaves very very important example of it is bryophyllum b r y o p h y l l u m b r y o bryophyllum p h y l l u m So what happened on the margin of this bryophyllum? A small, small leaf-like structure. They will start appearing, and once they get separated from the parent, they start 
growing into the new plant so some plants like bryophyllum have birds on the edges of their leaves so what do they have they have the small small birds on the edges and when the leaves get detached from the plant so when these leaves get separated from the plants and come in contact with the soil they start producing the new plant so as soon as they come in contact with the soil they start producing the new plant so the main example is bryophyllum the second example is begonia clear children advait advik bodhi advik yes ma'am yes ma'am advait five and the, now the last one reproduction from spore um i think you might have seen on the bread uh on the bread sometimes you know the bread gets spoiled and small small i suppose this is a bread small small cotton like structure comes on the bread have you seen that yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am now what happened initially when you saw that only on the one bread might have spoiled or only on that one bread this cotton like surface will be there or cotton like structure will be there but what happened since they actually burst what happened they do bursting process or they explode so what happened when they burst they will be scattered to the other parts of the bread also and that is why what happened the remaining breads also get spoiled slowly and gradually so this bread will be giving it to the other bread the other bread will be giving to the next bread then the, like this the spores will be spreading from one plant to the other plant and this plant can grow around to the new plant so some plants bear special structure called as spores so what do they have they have small small spores on them instead of flowers or seeds so they do not have the flowers or seeds what do they have the small small spores spores are nothing, nothing but a ha uh, spores are nothing but they are just a round like Oh, a simple round like such a like this okay have you seen the hibiscus flower yes ma'am now on the hibiscus flower have you touched it any time like if you have touched that hibiscus flower you might have seen something yellow in color on the top of it have you seen that something yellow in color yes ma'am right? so that is the size of the spore actually so that is what the size of the spore it will be very very small in structure okay fine so spores are nothing but they are the round structure which will help for the reproduction in the plants so as soon as they go to the other area what do they do they start growing now from that area if they move to the other area then again they start going so like this the number of that plant the plant will keep on increasing clear yes yes children clear yes ma'am yes ma'am so that is how the numbers of the plants can be increased by the leaves by the roots by the stem and by the spores fine what is example of the leaves by which the numbers can be increased any one of you the example of the leaf by which yes tell me anyone bryo bryophyllum and very good bryophyllum and begonia repeat after me bryophyllum bryo and begonia begonia and begonia Yes, and when we talk about the stem, stem it includes the cutting process, and the example of the stem cutting is rose, rose plant. Apart from the rose, which has a high I... potato. Okay, hibiscus. Okay, potato. Then apart from the potato, but what else can be there? Hmm. Sweet potato. potatoes. Sweet potato is the example of what root. Okay, for the sweet potato, we have to cut the root of it, and then we have to insert it. Okay, so that is how we can increase the number of the plants from one part of the plant to the. By using the one part of the plant, we can increase the number. All right.
So in this chapter, we have learned about the seed, seed, the structure of the seed, germination, and the process of germination. What are the different conditions required for it? Then we have discussed about the seed, how it can disperse from one mode to the other medium, and all. Then we have discussed the different agents of it. Then uh, the ways we have discussed. Now today we have discussed about the asexual reproduction, in which the root stem or the root cutting or the stem cutting, then the leaves, the spores are responsible for it. Okay. And the last topic, very small topic, which are the crops. Are crops important for us? Yes, ma'am, because it helps to make our daily uses, example, rice, wheat, and pulses. Very good, Atre. Very good. Yes, definitely, it is very, very important for us. So, with the help of that, we will be eating, right? The thing. If I feel hungry, if I don't have the rice, if I don't have the wheat flour, then will I be able to, you know, calm down myself? Yeah. Somewhere I can actually, you know, I have the namkeen, I have the biscuits, and all right. But those yeah. are healthy. Yeah, I mean, most of the biscuits are made of wheat. Man. No, most of the biscuits are not made of wheat. They are actually made of the madder. And and the oil which they use is also not good actually. Right? So that is why it's like I never suggest uh, uh, you all to eat, you know, such kind of biscuits. Like you can go for the good variety of it. Like you have the, you know, uh, the Nutri-Choice biscuit you have, uh, the Mary also you have. So, okay, tell me one thing. How many of you, when you feel hungry, what do you eat? Okay. What do you eat when you feel hungry? Immediately if you want to eat something, what do you go for? Mama, go for chips, mom. <laughs> okay, chips. Advik? Mom, numkins. I always have numkins. Numkins. Okay, Advik? Second, Advik? What do you go for if you feel hungry? Mango, ma'am. Oh my god, mango. Okay, Advik? What do you go for? Mom, biscuits or okay. something biscuits. else in something else is what? Mom, something else I see for you. Okay, so you I think we will be running to the kitchen. First of all, we will be searching the cupboards and all and we'll be seeing that our mothers had hidden all those things, right? How many of your mother hide they hide the things, chips and all, biscuits and all from you? Yeah, Advik nice. is laughing, definitely Advik is doing. <laughs> okay. Then Advik, Advik Panjugla, your mother is also doing hiding the biscuits and all. No, no. No, very good. Okay, Advik, your mother? No, ma'am. No, okay. My mother actually she used to do when I was small. So because uh, every time whenever I feel hungry, I'll be, you know, getting the things. I'll be See, if we are eating a less amount, no problem. So our mothers are also worried that if we eat, you know, if we eat those biscuits and chips in good amount, then what happens? It is very unhealthy for us. And that is the reason they are hiding, which is good actually. So that we can have a control on ourselves. Otherwise, what do we do? We'll keep on eating one biscuit, two biscuits, three biscuits, four biscuits like this, right? And then we'll go for the next now, another variety of the biscuit or the chips. So which is good actually, right? So, as soon as we feel hungry, we wanted to get something, right? Rather than going for the chips, rather than going for the biscuits or, you know, some other kind of oily stuff and all, try to eat chapatis, which is like basically healthy. Or maybe you can go for the fruits also. So, these will be helping for your growth and development. So, like you are weak maybe, you know, you, are, you feel so tired if you come from the school or you feel so tired after taking the classes. So, that is because you, know, you don't have, have sufficient of the blood or sufficient amount of hemoglobin in your body. So if you want that, you should be always active and you should always, you know, fine and fit and all. So what do you do? You eat always healthy things. Okay. And especially green leafy vegetables. So right now you're in the fifth class. But when you go to your eighth class or seventh class and ninth class, then only you will be able to see the result. It is not like, okay, today I'm eating, I'm eating the, you know, healthy food and immediately my, my skin will start glowing. No, your skin will not start glowing at the same time. It takes time actually, you know, some years it will take. So if you eat healthy right now, then what happens? After a few years, you will be finding the, that your skin is healthy. Otherwise, what happens? So many pimples will be coming on the skin, on the face, on the, or the acne will be coming. 
Will you like that? Acne or pimples coming on the skin, on the face? No, mm. ma'am. No, right? No one likes it, right? That is why. And drink lot of water also. So if you want that your skin should glow and you should be like you should not feel so tired and all. Always drink water. And when you're sitting in the class, how many of you are keeping water along with you? Water bottle along with you? Yes. Are you keeping the water bottle? Show me a water bottle where it is. No. No one is keeping. You should actually keep it. Okay. Go and get it. One water bottle should always be there when you are taking the class. And in between, like you know, maybe after every thirty minutes, you should drink it. At what why you are connecting with two devices? What? Admit, have you got it? No, I got. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. Have a sip of water. Keep in mind, always after thirty minutes or twenty minutes, you should have sip. I am not saying you should play with the water, children. You should have a sip of water. Fine, so that. Your body will feel refreshed, and there will not be any deficiency. What do you mean by deficiency? Ma'am, something less. Correct. Very good, Ad Adwik. So something less, something lack in our body, right? So when you drink water, you get energy. As at the same time, the amount of oxygen does not get less in your body. Clear? Okay. So now we will start with the now crop. So different types of the crops are there: rabi crop, the kharif crop. and those are like summer crops the winter crops and accordingly i think we all are eating the things right are we eating the watermelon in the winter are we getting it yes no no no, no. we are not getting it right are we getting the grapes in the winter grapes in the no. winter no ma'am no right so are we uh, getting the sweet potato ma'am papaya and the ginger papaya yes. every time we are getting actually right all the season most of the season whenever we came we are getting mango are we getting it in winter ma'am no ma'am no in in summer are we getting the mangoes yes yes, yes right see all you all are excited with the mango except me because i don't like mango so they are actually the seasonal fruits and same way like we have the seasonal vegetables also like if i talk about the cauliflower the good variety of the cauliflower the cabbage will be getting in the winters or in the summers ma'am the cauliflower good variety of cauliflower will be getting in winter or summers ma'am so probably in winter ma'am winter yes. yes winters will be getting in winters and the pea also matter right matter and the pea is like same we will be getting in the winter and then you might have seen your mothers actually they will be keeping the stock of those uh, pea in the fridge have you seen them yes ma'am yes ma'am right so yes, why they are doing so because the taste of that pea which comes during the winter season is different from that what we get in the summer season so in the summer season though we get it but it is not so tasty as like the winter season So that's the reason they can they are storing it. And have you seen your mother storing the carrot or radish? Do they store it, the carrot or radish in the freezer? No, I think no. Right? No, but they can do that actually. So, uh, um, what happens at this is called as preservation. Actually, so what happens like you know the carrot and the radish. when we cut the cut the slices of them we can cover those with the salt actually the normal salt what do we have we can what do we do we can take the carrot and the radish and we can just cut it into two pieces and then we can just dip them from from front and back with the salt and then in the air tight pack we can keep it for some the some of the days and nothing will happen to it same same goes for the uh, chicken also you know if the people they are eating the chicken if they cover it with the salt or maybe a layer of salt they will be putting it on the chicken so that they can preserve it for the 
long time. Have you seen your mothers making the pickles at home? What do they add in it? What mom? Pickle, pickle, achar. Mom, vegetables and some masalas. Mm. One more important thing, very important oil, thing, most oil. important thing. Oil. oil, very good, very good. Advice. So, he, they, what they are doing, they are taking a container and in that container, they are adding maybe, I don't know, whatever, like, if they are making the mango uh, pickle, they will be adding the mango and they will be adding the masala. And then they are adding the oil. Are they adding only this much oil or they are adding till the up? Mom, up. Up, right? The reason why they are keeping it oil for till the upper layer so that the, you know, the whatever the mangoes are there, they does not get spoiled. So with the oil, the mango pickle can be kept for the long duration, for the long days and all. Right? So these are basically the preservative methods. Or nowadays, it's like, you know, you might have seen when you go to the malls and all, have you seen the ready-made, ready-made food item will be there? Ready-made shahi pani, ready-made chana masala, ready-made chula batura, ready-made pavazi, right? Have you seen that thing, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Are they healthy? No, ma'am. No, right? They are not healthy. But what they do is, they will be adding some of the other kind of chemicals to it. So because of that, the storage of it or you know when we can keep it for the long time and just what we need to do we have to take the packet and we have to dip it in the hot water and it's like ready to use so why is it so it is because of the chemicals they have added to it so that is why we should not use it so if we are doing any kind of preservation method at our home then it is fine but from outside if we are taking it then we have to think it twice like jam you are eating the jam, bread jam. Yes. So jam yes. is okay. So jam, basically what they are doing, how they are preserving, they are adding the sugar into it. Because of which the microbes or the small, small microorganisms will not create problems for it. But if at the same time, if you are taking some, something open from the market and all, it should not be. Because they are, you know, keeping for the long time without any kind of hygienic things and all. Okay. So now, let us go with the crop. Okay. So crops are plants of one kind grown in a particular area or region during a specific time in a field. So basically, if we, I want to define the crops so what they are they are the variety of one plant which is grown in a particular area and at a particular time it provides us with the food and other useful things different crops grow in the different condition and some of these are food crop, crop oil producing crops so three different varieties are the Food crop, wheat crop, and oil producing crop. Food crop, they are meant for the human consumption. Consumption means use. So we will be using it. Like it, like wheat, rice, and others also. Many other examples also. Then talking about the fiber crops, they are grown to produce fiber. And clothes we are using, cotton balls we are using, then jute, jute bag we are using, jute box we are using. So like this, we are using the other purpose. Then oil, they are to produce the oil, like mustard, linseed, peanut oil, so like this, they will be used. So three different varieties of the crops, food crop, fiber crop, oil producing crop. Now in the major types of the crops in India, the first one winter, winter and the second one summer crop. Winter, summer crops, the first one summer crops, they are also called as carry crops. And they are shown in the monsoon season, that is between June and July. What do we mean sown? S O W N. to um, Yeah. So we will be actually sown means a process in which we will be keeping the seeds for the growth of it. Okay. So during the June and June, June or July, the farmers they will be what they'll be doing? They will be keeping the seeds for the growth. And then in the month of the September and October, 
they will be ready for the harvesting harvesting means to cut down so the crop will be ready so in the month of the uh, june and july they will be sowing it and in the month of the september to october they will be harvesting it examples are rice maize jowa bajra vegetables onion pumpkin brinjal tomato and mango melon and lychee they are what they are basically the summer crop that is why the lychee are getting in the summer season mango you are getting summer season melon watermelon musk melon you are getting in the summer season then goes for the uh, vegetables onion pumpkin brinjal tomato they are basically the summer season crop so they are harvested in september october and they are sown in the month of the june or july now coming to the winter crops they are known as a rabi crop they will be grown in the winter season so in the winter season they will be growing and in the month of the april or june they will be ready to the ready for the harvesting example wheat barley and gram they are the example of the winter crop vegetables carrot radish and turnip apple banana and berry you will be getting in the winter so especially apple so in the winters the quality of the apple will be very good but in the summers when you get those apples they are not so tasty as like in the winters so apple banana and berry so these are what they are the summers and the winter crops can guava uh, be an example of uh, rabi fruits guava yes it can be yes yes definitely yeah so these are actually few examples are given here so many other examples of we can add on also fine now list of practices to grow good crop so if i want to grow the good crop or the farmers want to grow the good variety of crops so what all things they can do practices means what all things they can do to increase the productivity the first thing the crop should be grown in good quality soil so whatever the crop we are growing we should make sure that we are using the good quality of soil to grow it then infectious free what do you mean by infectious what is infectious mom something idea? that like it's a guess is like can something hmm? ma'am mm -hmm. uh, can it be like something uh, uh, infected okay yes, no but actually infectious means disease disease free okay so it should be disease free and good quality should seed should be sown or we should use a good quality of seed then third manures and fertilizers should be used to improve the fertility of the soil so if we want that uh, the good uh, soil we should use then we have to use the manures and fertilizers like cow dung cow dung is a manure good manure which is also called as khad in hindi right so good variety of the manures and fertilizers we should use then fourth weeds should be timely removed now what are weeds any idea blue double e d weeds ma'am to uh, you uh, to remove poisonous gases uh, around the plant very good poisonous so basically they are the correct correct very good so they are basically the unwanted plants those plants which are not important but sometimes they grow with them so what do we need we have to remove them before they grow so we should be timely removed by using the weedy size then fifth adequate amount of water should be given for proper growth so we have to make sure that to the crops we should give the sufficient amount of water then sixth insecticides and pesticides should be used to protect the crop from the damage caused by the insects like the locust plant lice etc so sometimes what happen to the crops the uh, the locust locust you might have seen a brown color you know the grass super like it will be they fly in the air and they come and sit on the crop what do they do they eat them so they have, we have to remove them by using the insecticides or pesticides so this insecticides and pesticides they are the spray which kill them then seventh one seed should be protected from animals like buffalo and the cows so there should not be buffalo and cows because if they are there they will eat them then a last one ensure proper harvesting and storage of the crop so we have to harvest and store the crop properly 
So if we do not follow this method, and then then what happens? We will not be getting the good quality of the graph. Clear? So these are the ways by which we can increase the amount of the crop. So are you doing this process by yourself, or you are getting just that that get it? Mom, your voice is breaking. Am audible? Okay. So, uh, see, we are actually, you know, we are at a very comfort zone. We are not going to the farm. We are not growing anything, right? Directly, what we are doing, we are just giving the money and getting the thing. Correct? But imagine about the farmers in this hot season, what they are doing. They are standing there in the farms, right? Trying to grow the crop, but sometimes uh, you might think you might have seen the movie Lagan. Have you seen that movie Lagan? Yes, ma'am. What happened in that movie? Ma'am, uh, it's about to like cricket kind of. Why they have to play the cricket? There, there might be reason, right? Because of the crop no. actually that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Today, that is Right. So, since what happened, um, actually, uh, they had to get the field and all. It means the crop area, they have to get it. And those land was with the Britishers. So, to get the land back, they have to play a match with them, which was the cricket, right? So, that is what actually happened. So, we feel it like directly by getting it very easy. But when we, when we think about like how the farmers, they work, it is really very, very tough. In the hot season, they have to spend. They do not have much of sufficient of water sometimes. And sometimes what happens, it starts raining automatically. And when it starts raining automatically, then the field, they get spoiled. The crop, they, they get right. So all those things, they have to think and then they have to work. Right? So that's about the whole chapter uh, about the plant life or the plants increasing the numbers. Clear, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, now tomorrow, tomorrow, you have to sit along with your copy, and we will be completing all the notes. Tomorrow after the class, I want everybody should submit the whole chapter notes to me. It should not be like evening time. It should not be night time. Whatever the classes you have after this class, you have to submit, and then only you have to go for it. Okay? By sharp four or four ten, you have to submit the notes to me, and then only you have to move somewhere else. So tomorrow, half an hour in the class, I will be giving you, I'll be telling you how to write it, what to write it, all those things. I'll be guiding you. And then your duty is only to write it. Okay, Advit, Advik. Advik. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, after writing the notes, you will uh, start a new uh, chapter? Yes, we will be starting the new chapter. And tomorrow it will be science class because math mom has taken yesterday, right? So I'll be taking tomorrow class, okay? So okay. Don't think it is math class I will not be taking. I will be taking your class. Tomorrow you don't have math, you have the science class. So when you sit, be seated with your copy and then with a pen or pencil, whatever you need for it. Okay, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay, children. Okay, thank you then. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye-bye.